What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to another episode of the Speaking English Podcast. Jacob, who I think uh, lives in Germany, sent me an email asking me to explain how to differentiate thread and threat. So that's T-H-R-E-A-D versus T-H-R-E-A-T. The classical D versus T problem. So, thread versus threat. We have, again, a longer vowel before the D, and the D is very soft, and then a shorter vowel before the T, and the T is hard. Thread and threat. And if you overpronounce that, you're almost getting to how to keep those two apart. If you go thread and threat. Threat. So, thread is um, like a tiny piece of um, cloth. Like, it's the one piece of cloth where the, the big pl piece of cloth is made from. You see, this is all woven from uh, several threads, which can be available in thinner or thicker. This hat is uh, knit by uh, by th uh, with thread, and um, also if you take the internet or forums on the internet, there's uh, you know they are separated in certain threads. What somebody asks, uh, you know, how can I fix my camera? And the next one says, uh, "Ooh, there's a new camera." And these are all threads, because they uh, start at one point and then they go along. That's, they have the, uh, you know, the red thread which goes through a book, hopefully, which uh, is like the main storyline. That's all a thread. <coughs> and then there's the threat. Threat is a danger to something. For example, um, rain was threatening the outside wedding. Okay, so there's uh, there are clouds in the sky, and people are afraid it might rain, so the wedding wouldn't be as nice as planned. And that's a threat to the wedding. And if you pronounce it really hard, you get an angry face, and it's threatening, threat. And you can also remember it because terrorists are a very real and very threatening danger these days. And terror starts with a T. So if you think, if you know that one is the, the tiny you know, the piece of cloth, and the other one is endangering, and you can remember, terrorists are dangerous. And that's how you keep them apart. Thread and threat. Well, Jacob, I hope this answers your question, and to everybody else, I hope you liked it. Uh, feedback, as always, is welcome. Uh, my email is speakingenglishpodcast at gmail dot com, or you can visit the blog speakingenglishpodcast dot com as you have done so nicely in the past couple of weeks. Uh, I really appreciate that. I hope the new design has something to do with it, and if not, thanks anyway. And don't forget, everybody, go out there and tell your friends about this. Uh, there's so much of you watching and listening already but the more watching the better program I am ultimately going to be able to deliver so this goes out tomorrow tomorrow's Friday and then I go on vacation this is why you can see you know, there stuff in the back there I'm going to Jerusalem and to Tel Aviv for a week for a wedding and when I come back I bring you brand new episodes Taros has sent in some other great suggestions and Yes, I have to answer him uh, next time. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.